So yesterday, the pa the Chiefs signed Marcus Bella Scantling, um, free agency to a three year, thirty million dollar contract. I think thirty six total. I think six million in there as a uh, incentive. I think for him, um, which is not too. Big. I don't think that counts against the cap. I'm not. I don't think so. Um, so he's getting paid ten million a year. I don't have like the total of how much it counts against the cap this year or next year, something like that. But I don't know. I am just. I don't know about that. I mean, he's a good player, and I understand the receiver market has gone on dr up drastically after the hit Tyreek getting his money, Devontae getting his money, I mean, thirty million for a receiver a year. I mean, that's crazy. Um. Uh. So yeah, the market's gone up. I mean, I'd get it. Eight million, seven million. But do we really, really need to spend ten million on a receiver? I kind of think. I mean, he's a under a fifty-three percent catch percentage every single year he's been in the league, and he's played with Aaron Rodgers, who is you may already know who he is. So can the Chiefs make him a better player? Maybe, but is he going to be ten million dollars worth? I don't know. The thing that worries me is we don't have a number one receiver. I mean, we have a number one pass catcher, tight end, but I don't know how much that's going to. Work, how that's gonna work I don't know um we got Juju I love Juju behind Tyreek and Kelsey so I don't I don't love that situation we got Hardman who I don't think he can he, he didn't step up last year under Tyreek and and uh Travis Kelsey so we lost Pringle we lost Robinson that's Robinson's not that big of a loss Pringle he kind of stepped up towards the end of the year Hardman played better down the stretch so he's gonna have to be that that 1A, 1B with Juju, or maybe MVS stands up. Maybe he steps up. I don't, I have no idea. Um, we might try to straight up draft a guy that can step in, be that like Devontae Smith, Mark Chase. Uh, unlikely. Um, but we right now we don't have another one receiver right now, which is, which kind of worries me. So that kind of makes me, I don't, that makes me kind of look down on the trade, but I'd rather have, I think he has probably the most ceiling out of the receivers left on the market he has good traits he's i think six two six three uh he's lightning quick not terry speed he's around hardman speed he just reminds me of hardman he's a bigger hardman he's just he's kind of a, just a gadget guy honestly i don't i don't see him playing a big impact but maybe he does maybe he doesn't i i, I hope that they saw something and i hope that uh, brett veach saw something and made him think that this is worth right now from my standpoint. I don't love it. I thought we could spend money better, maybe getting a veteran corner in there, maybe getting a veteran linebacker in there. Um, I feel like that would be better money spent with that $10 million that we could have used. And maybe we get like, I don't know, $5 million to get a receiver like uh, Jarvis or uh, T.Y., maybe another veteran in there at that wide receiver position. We're going to be a young team. Um, Travis Kelsey, is, I, I guess he's, I guess that would work. Because he's at pretty similar positions, honestly. Well, yeah, because they both do the same thing, jobs. But I guess that we don't need a veteran under there. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't hate it more than I think about it. But just $10 million for a guy that's really never been anything but a complimentary receiver, third third in a pretty weak uh, Green Bay receiver core outside of Devontae Adams. Honestly, I don't. I don't know. I really don't know about that, but I, I think, I hope we just weren't bidding against ourselves. I hope that we actually were in competition with someone trying to get that player, because if we were just bidding against ourselves, that just, that looks, makes us look silly, um, if it was true, honestly, but I don't hate the signing. I, I, we, so looking at the receiver core, we got Juju, Nicole, MVS, um, I don't really know anyone else outside of that, right? Am I missing someone? Didn't resign Robinson, didn't get Pringle back. That's kind of our, our top three uh, right now, currently. Unless we've signed someone else. I haven't uh, checked since yesterday, but that's kind of it. That's our receiver core. And Travis Kelsey and at tight end. Um, Noah Gray is back up unless we sign someone. I don't know if we brought, we brought back, but that's it. That's kind of what we got. Um, and if 
this is the thing. Mahomes is an elite quarterback. We know that. Can he step up with a less than ideal, I mean, average receiving core? Including the tight end. Average. I'm going to say average. Maybe above average a little bit. I, I think we're okay. If we can develop someone in the draft, or defense, there's a thing, though. Our offense has always been the thing carrying us, and the defense has brought us back down to earth. The defense is going to have to step up. I like Spags as a defense coordinator. But, though, with his system, early on, his system isn't... It takes a bit to get used to. We, we've seen that over the... Over last year, the year before that, it's been after like seven or eight games, it's moved ceiling from there, which is which is good. But early, I think we're going to have to get some chemistry going, especially we're going to be a young team. It's going to be a young team. Um, but like the linebacker core on defense, brought Frank Clark back on Frank Clark on a uh, incentive based deal mostly. Um, so he's going to have to we're going to have to see some protection from him or. Or he's not gonna make any money, so that I like that how he, it 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 makes it makes him have be more motivated to do well. I like that. I didn't like him on the deal that was on, so I'm I'm more on board with Frank Clark being on the team. Um, I would like to get a rotational pass rusher, but I think that can be solved in the draft of how many picks we got. Um, all not there are holes we can patch pretty easily. Corner. Uh, need some help. We got our safety, probably safety. Need some help. Um, throwing Hill and Reed, but we usually, I think, we like to throw in a third safety in there in the mix with how often Sorensen played. You know, that maybe like sub linebacker or something like that. Um, you know, that would be, and maybe we could have. I don't know if I haven't seen Justin Reed. That I don't know if he's a safety guy that can play. That is as versatile as Matthew. I don't know about that. I don't think he is. That's the thing with Matthew. He's very versatile. Um, so that kind of increases his value, which I think that was kind of his argument for why he deserves to get paid more. But honestly, I'm that grade for that signing is probably a C minus, honestly, on that on that. I don't I don't think we sh should have paid ten million for that guy. I, I don't maybe the market's that high. But if I know how high the market went, I think $7 million is what it deserves, honestly, looking at his production in, in Green Bay. But yeah, that's what that's my grade for the signing. Uh, probably my worst grade uh, for how I rate any of, the, any of our signings or any of our uh, contract restructurings. Uh, I like the Justin Reed deal, but more I love, I love the Juju deal at the time. I gave it like an A++. I would give it, that's what I would give it, but now I'm a little lower on it since but he's a high ceiling player i'd give it probably a b plus and justin reed would probably give a, a b so frank clark was structuring i will give it an a i love that decision but yeah that's how i think it's gonna go but yeah i don't know about the signing